What's going on guys? It's Kuday here and today we're going to be playing with Johnny Cage with the newest Combat Pass. Yes, finally we're going to be covering Combat Pass and yes, a little bit more on time because last Combat Pass I didn't cover it very fast. And there is a second Combat Pass that is coming out which you can easily see by just going to the War Banners. I uh, forgot where it is. Where is it? Is it in the icons? Yeah, Combat Pass Season... Well, okay. It was here. Some people have seen it. But it's not that hard to spot. You just have to find Combat Pass Season 6 right here. And so then you know it's Mournful Katana. Uh, that is going to be the second Combat Pass, which I'll probably cover her before she uh, the Combat Pass comes out, just so I could get a head start. But let's get started here. So Combat Pass for Johnny Cage is probably the best one they've ever had because I've said this before, but Johnny Cage is one of the best characters in the entire game. His combo unders are unmatched by practically any gold card. Now, honestly, Rain, Adenian Blood Rain, he competes with those amazing combo unders. But the thing about Johnny Cage that just consistently makes him the best is his power drain on SP1 and how easily you can have it flow. So you can just continuously spam it over and over and over again. And the synergy for the Combat Cup team is just unrivaled by any other gold team in the game. The synergy is just incredible. It's amazing. And so many people to uh, have legit gold runs for towers will use the Combat Cup team. Or even just using Combat Cup Johnny Cage alone. You just want to use them. And so I recommend, if you've been saving your ascensions, max this guy out as soon as possible. If you haven't used your ascens ascensions yet, use your ascensions on Johnny Cage. I think so. I think he's a, he's a great one to use your ascension on. But we're gonna buy the combat pass. So let's get started. All right, upgraded to combat pass premium. Let's get those sweet rewards. Start to finish. Yeah, I mean, we don't grind the combat pass here on this channel. We don't grind it. <laughs> we just want to claim those rewards. Oh, you get some crypt keys now. I, I forgot to say that. But yeah, you get crypt keys. Awesome. It's a currency used to make purchase in the game. Wow, that's very vague. They couldn't come up with a better description for it. <laughs> it's just used to get into the crypt uh, game mode. Instead of having to use the... Uh, consumables that you have to purchase in the crypt you can just get a free attempt by going in with a crypt key okay skip all Ooh, you get a ton of crypts related stuff that makes this combat pass even more worth it if you actually are planning on spending ten dollars this is the combat pass that i recommend spending ten dollars on i'm not even joking like this isn't a bad one to spend ten dollars on usually i don't i wouldn't recommend to ascend gold characters dark raiden's good tremor was good but they're just not outstanding to the point where I actually recommend ascending them. But Comic Cup Sonya and Johnny Cage, while Sonya can be argued, maybe just use a few ascension points, all of it needs to go into Johnny Cage, especially since there's crypt stuff being offered now. So you get extra stuff with the $10 purchase. Of course, this is going to go and apply to everything going forward, but Johnny Cage is the best one right now. So you get all that crypt stuff bundled in and you get Johnny Cage's uh, ascension. Obviously, that makes it more worth it. I think this is going to be the peak of Ascension, right? This is going to be the peak. Okay. Your personal offer for a win. This is the uh, Combat Pass season offer. Now, it doesn't include MK11 Liu Kang anymore. It, it includes um, classic movie Johnny Cage. Oh. You get his Brutality Gear 2? That's not bad. For $20, I wouldn't say it's the best, but that's not bad because they're giving you the brutality gear with the character card. Now, Johnny Cage is not my favorite out of the classic movies. I think Raiden and Sonya are definitely better than um, classic movie Johnny, but he's still fun to play. Okay, so now let's actually go, oh wait, hold on. Let's go ascend my Johnny Cage. Let's get this started. Let's get the show on the road. I'm ready, I'm ready. Boom. Amazing. Okay. So where do we go from? Like, okay, we have like 68,000 HP right now. And it's gonna add 3,000. Wait, well, it says 68,000. Probably, do I have gear on? I don't even think I have gear on. This is weird. Adds a lot of health, toughness, and recovery. 6,000 recovery. 
Almost 7,000. Did I not click it? Oh, I did. I did just now. Ooh. Boom. Look at that special car design. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Love it. Brutality is unlocked for the Ascended Gold card. Yes. And now this is the part where we get to uh, equip the Brutality gear. Wow, okay. I just clicked that twice. I'm not a huge fan of trying to click all these little buttons. But I'm so glad that they exist. Okay, this and this. Oh, oops. It's a weapon. Do I get block breaking? Mm, no. For block breaking, we're just going to put tribal headband on. Yeah, that should be fine. This will just guarantee we have a block breaker. Now we're going to go into one battle. And we are going to ascend our Sonya Blade as well. The only person on our team who isn't ascended is Combat Cup Cassie Cage, which I eventually think she is going to get an ascension. Oh, first, let's, let's do this. There we go. Now, no one should ever ascend Combat Cup Cassie Cage, but it would kind of be interesting for her to get an ascension. It's probably not going to happen to characters that are not challenge related. Now, we're just waiting to fight a diamond team. Let's just get that set up. We swapped out with Strike Force Scorpion because we had to get a diamond match. We were not finding anything. So let's get started with this matchup. But firstly, 72,000 health now when we were at like around 65,000 before. So kind of an upgrade. It's a good enough upgrade to justify it. We're obviously going to be trying fusion level 20 in a moment. And we'll go more in depth about fusion level 20 again because I see some comments about it every now and then. Alright, we're just going to take the risk. Sorry, Jade. We're getting you out of here. Seriously, what's going on? Was that blind? It was blind, wasn't it? I think we could get brutality. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, do we have brutal ending on? We might not have brutal ending on, so we have to turn that on after this game. But I'm sure we can just try to get a brutality on the last character. Oh, you just keep taking it. Keep on taking it. Okay, it's a reptile. What is there what is there to be afraid of right now? Ooh, okay. Wait, I don't want to kill him yet. This is it? No. That's how champions do it. I love that victory stance. It's incredible. Okay, so let's go make sure we have the right talent tree on. Yeah, we do. However, let's just take that. Make sure this is maxed out. Interesting. Is something off then? Hold on. The equipment is supposed to work. It says Johnny Cage and set, and it's green. What a lovely name, fella. MKM. Very generic. Oh. Oh, there we go. The first combo under goes on through. And we've got some effect going on us right now. Oh, Ermac. Ermac's new character design in MK1. Let's talk about that. Let's just hope she, he's a good character. Doesn't even matter about the design. As long as he's a good character. Because people were outraged about Tanya, but Tanya looks so fun to play. Okay, okay. We're getting Jade down. She's almost dead. Mm, come on. Here we are, here we are. The legend is real. It's game over, man. That's how champions do it. It's game over, man. Oh, so good. Oh my gosh. Another fusion level 15 Johnny Cage. After this game, we're going to go to fusion level 20 and see the stats. Because in the future, fusion level 20 will be available. But we're talking probably a year from now. I'm, pr I'm thinking about a year, because that's when a lot of combat passes are going to happen, uh, and then maybe the developers will start rerunning old ones. 
But like I said, Fusion 20 isn't going to be available for uh, for a very long time. They they only say more fusions to come in the future. But they don't have a specific date and I don't think it's going to be for a while. But there's still a lot of characters to give the uh, Comet Pass to in general. Johnny Cage would be the rerun that everyone goes for just to get that Fusion Level 20 card. <laughs> I don't think it changes at Fusion Level 20, right? I don't think it changes. It's just Fusion Level 20. It's the first thing they've ever introduced. Imagine they're gonna have Fusion Level 20 diamonds eventually. Oh, come on. You know what, Trimmer? I'm not feeling you. Boom. And, and, and. Boom. Switch over to Sonya Blade. Oh. I was gonna try to get Brutality. That's how champion. Clearly, my plan failed. Okay, we're back. Two days later. Would you believe it? I would. I am not as thrilled to uh, play Faction Wars as I am going to be for doing Tower Battles with Fusion Level 20 Johnny Cage, which I will be doing, okay? Fatal to uh, Sorcerer's Tower Battles. Some of the hardest ones like 184, 185, 189, 196. We'll be doing some of those with Johnny Cage, Fusion Level 20, to see the difference between Fusion Level X and Fusion Level 20. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do that eventually. But for now, we're just going to play some Faction Wars because, you know, tower content is different. You know, want to keep it to its own thing. But here we go. So now, with Fusion Level 20, we have 76,000 HP instead of 73,000, so we only went up a little bit. Again, for 5 fusions, you would expect a little bit more, but I guess it we're talking about a literal gold card here becoming practically a diamond, because diamonds can have about 80,000 HP. Now, if you put on more gear to uh, increase his damage, it's only going to go up more. Oh, yes. Oh, it's kind of funny. Reptile was in like an awkward state there. I was going to say if we could do a brutal ending, because sometimes you can do a brutal ending when they have, uh, what is it called? The Shinnok's teaching defense. You know, people don't really, oh, well, we can call it Revenant too. People call all sorts of things. Jace. All right. It means such a pain in my butt. Hmm. <laughs> Guy, no brutality. What is this? What influenced you? To create this monstrosity of a team. What the heck am I looking at in the first place here? <laughs> We're just going to jump right on in. <laughs> I don't get it. So, I mean, they, they're doing the fading now in between battles. They're doing the fading for me. Because I used to use um, a fade effect, right? The beginning, starting a match, and ending it. But now they just do it for me. Don't have to worry. Oh, the, the, no, it didn't wear off. Now, Sonya Blade is not a big threat. Not really. Ronan Takeda, are you a threat either? No. 60,000 damage. Okay. So you can expect about 60,000 damage with SP1. Oh, Jax Briggs. Um... I kind of expected SP1 to do more. Oh, is this going to kill him? Oh, I didn't even get to see that. I really wish I could do a Brutality right now, but I can't. We're not even using Sonya because the teams are so easy. I guess we're... Let's go to the Crypt, guys. Let's go to the Crypt. It's time. Folks, I can't, I can't keep doing this. This is ridiculous. We're not fighting any hard enemies, and we gotta... We gotta fight someone who's who's difficult. Alright, so let's go this way. There we go. First boss. Should be still a diamond team, right? Yeah, for the most part, still a diamond team. Can't believe I'm having to do this, guys. I can't believe it. I just can't get any matches. And the Crypt is a perfect game mode in that sense, because it the matches are not way too insanely difficult, but they're also not necessarily easy. This is just why I love the Crypt. I, I do have to agree in some regard that it is a little um, repetitive. Yeah, I think that's the biggest issue. They just need to make sure that there are more teams added into the crypt. Because um, right now, the bosses are mainly MK11 based, which is the best a AI, but it's the most boring to face over and over and over again. 
we want some sort of variety you get what i mean like make a classic team just you know increase the amount of uh teams that you go up against it doesn't seem like these battles are bad though most of these are um different that's how champions do it we haven't faced any difficulty whatsoever we haven't even come close to dying okay open that up <laughs> okay i actually cannot believe i'm playing the crypt right now this is not this this was not the intention to start playing the crypt but i guess it's just where we're at right now okay let's go up here ne another one Woo! what do we got cold war team finally an actual diamond team to go up against now this will be a l well his basic attacks are doing quite a bit of damage on their own We killed him off with one combo. Jeez. Yeah, I don't think the shields are a problem. If they had fusion level X, all these diamonds were fusion level X, then maybe this could be a little bit more annoying because of each shield, but no. Nope. All we have to do is make sure to... Oh, wow. He got the first special attack on me. Okay. We're good. Another one going down. Oh, this is all for one. Seriously? My favorite. Let's switch over to Sonya. How much damage is she gonna do? Well, we can do Brutality back to back. Oh, what the heck? I thought I was gonna get a little close so I wouldn't hit her. Oh, there we go. Nice. I wasn't trying to get all the combo hits on her because then you can avoid killing them off. If you get too many hits on someone who's that low, then you will end up killing them off. So to do brutality, oh wow, we just gunned him down. That's how champions do it. To do brutality, sometimes you have to attack a little bit away from them and then end the last hits on them for the combo ender. Just helps you get brutality. Can we not go this way? Oh, we can. Okay. We're in the freaking crypt right now. What is happening? Okay, right here. They're, they all have the same health and damage though. Now what's his recovery? How much did he recover? Did he actually uh, get his health back? No, he didn't. Okay, so while he was out, he didn't recover anything. Oh yes, Shao Kahn. You're no longer interesting, you know? People don't really need your game mode anymore. Shao Kahn, you're a good card, but you're slow. And your game mode's obsolete when we have things like the crypt. Keeps going to scorpion. Like, yeah, sure, I want to use scorpion for my basic attacks. Sure. Yeah, okay. We can actually use scorpion. He's kind of fun. Now, the stun... Yeah, stun loop has been mitigated here. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now, how long is this video going to be? Um, until we fight the boss. I would like to fight the boss, yes. Okay. First floor's boss, and then we'll end off this video. Because we just got to fight some diamond. Some diamond team. Okay, here. This is what we're looking at. Level 50, but they all have about 120,000 HP. This is it, boys. Now, Nightwolf. You think that picking anything is going to be useful. No, because you're not going to land a single hit on me, buddy. Get out of here. Perfect. We do have death mark on us, so we don't want to die. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. He actually did some good damage. Now, I want to see how much we damage we can do with SP2 against a fully maxed diamond. 60, okay, for the, so the first hit is 60,000, and the next hit is by, oh, wow, it just goes so fast. It, it was 300,000 at one time, and about a 60 to 100k for SP1 consistently. And so that's what you can kind of expect going, going forward with Johnny Cage Fusion Level 20. If I need to pick which gold card to ascend, and I have only a, a few ascension cards, it's all going to go into Johnny Cage every single time consistently there's not a single gold in this game besides some of the new ones like you know Ra adenia blood rain uh and some some of the other new golds like lizard baraka besides them but any of the classic golds none of the new ones i would 
always ascend Johnny Cage first out of all of them. Because Johnny Cage is just simply the best ascension they've ever offered. And I think he will be the best ascension for quite a bit of time until they start ascending cards like Lizard Brocka, of course. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. And I do want to um, just give a friendly reminder. Fusion level 20 is not available right now. I am just testing it so you can see what it looks like. The developers have it in the game, but there's absolutely no way to obtain it whatsoever. But it's just sort of a test so you can see what it's going to look like ahead of time. But it, it's not going to be around uh, anytime soon just because they haven't even gone through enough gold to ascend first. Let me just give a big shout out to my YouTube members. We have Darkside, Noxon, Bagor, Ez Halarson, Legend YT, Titan Beast, Lix, Mr. Valkimo, Ola, Friendly Guy with Asperger, Score Eon, Jan, Tolga, Hamath, Giuliano Games, Stan Marsh, Random, Tab, Combat Max, Goku, Rivo, Aiden, Katana, Press GG, Plain Punch, Damien, Jeremy, Ghosty XL, Shocks YT, Jeff, Grimmeramia, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, and lastly, MK Fire. Thank you all for being YouTube members and welcome to any new members. And yeah, peace out.